I never fully, really trusted the government in the beginning. I mean, it makes me not trust him a little bit, you know? Like, I'm skeptical. Like, how are they using our money? British Columbians have had several days now to digest all 76 pages of the report, and it's not sitting well. It's unacceptable because we, as a taxpayer, you know, you should know where the money is going, right? There's overspending in a lot of places and not a lot of checks and balances, so it's kind of to be expected. Who has trust in the government anyway? And it's that type of attitude that worries UBC political scientist Gerald Beyer. And this might be a case where it turns some people off to think, oh, all these guys are crooks, they're all the same. Uh, and so the more we talk about it, the more outrageous it seems, uh, you know, the more, uh, more that that attitude gets in, kind of entrenched in, in the public's mind. An important distinction to make, the clerk and sergeant at arms are not politicians. They're senior staff who are appointed, not elected. But it's a distinction that may be lost on many. And so this time it is, it is sort of senior management of the assembly, the people who are more permanent uh, in some ways, but at the same time it's just casting it all uh, with a bad brush. Politicians or not, government watchdogs say they're still key officials who need to be held accountable. And it's the responsibility not just of elected officials, but also senior staff to respect that environment and to make certain that when they spend a tax dollar, that it's well spent. As we await the results of a forensic audit and RCMP investigation, there are calls for greater transparency now. The Legislative Assembly Management Committee should put deadlines uh, on their work so that the public knows that we will not go into another election with these policies in place, but modern policies appropriate uh, to a work environment in 2019. Many say while the spending scandal likely won't change who people vote for, it could likely affect whether they vote at all. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.